and welcome to the 20 Totem Multiboxing FAQ, a series in which in every episode I will try to answer a few multiboxing related questions. Let's get started. What kind of technical setup are you running? You can multibox in both a distributed system with multiple computers or with a one computer setup. I'm playing with a one computer setup. People also s think that you need a monster to be able to run 5 World Warcrafts at the same time on one computer. But that's not really the case. My machine has the following specification. A 2.4 GHz quad core from Intel, 4 GB of RAM, Windows 7 Ultimate 64-bit edition, 5 different hard drives, NVIDIA GeForce 8800 GT. I have two screens, both running at 1280 by 1024 my main character window occupies the first screen, and the four slaves share one screen. That means the four slaves have 640 by 512 resolution. The slave windows are quite small to look at, but since I focus 90% of my attention on the master window, it works out alright. I also have a G11 Logitech keyboard for some additional keys. You tend to run out of keys when multiboxing. Can you tell me more about how you're able to run 5 installations on such a weak computer? All my slaves have a forced FPS set to 20 frames per second and of course all the slaves have their graphical settings set to low in order not to use too much processing power. Since I have a quad core processor I also forced the different valves to utilize different cores. On top of that I have multiple hard drives to minimize the read times. The operating system running from one hard drive the master is running from one, and the slaves are running from one. To minimize the memory usage, I have all the big data files symbolically linked, which means they are only read into memory once. How can you make all characters cast a spell at the same time? I'm using a keyboard multiplexer. Okay, so what's a keyboard multiplexer? A keyboard multiplexer is either a piece of hardware or a software program that sends one key press to all your World of Warcrafts. That is, when I have my main character's window in focus and press for instance the 2 button, the keyboard multiplexer makes sure that the key press is sent to all the slaves as well. Yes, this is legal. Personally, I'm using a software keyboard multiplexer called Key Clone, but there are many others as well. For instance, Auto Hotkey, Hotkey Net, IS Boxer, Pwn Boxer and Synergy, to mention some. How come your characters can do different things at the same time? As described before, I use a keyboard multiplexer which sends the same keystroke to all my World of Warcraft. The trick is to bind the same key to different abilities on all characters. Let's look at an example. When I hit the 2 key, it's distributed to all the 5 different World of Warcraft windows. But on my Paladin tank, I have bound the 2 key to the Consecration spell while three of the shaman has bound the two key to the lightning bowl, and the last shaman has bound the two key to healing wave. Once again, this is not illegal as long as every character is only performing one action per key press, which they all are in the example above. It's still legal when they do different abilities. Of course, it gets much more complicated than in this example. How do you move your characters and how do you make them spread out like that? When just moving around in the world, questing or doing instances, I have four characters, the slaves, following the main, which I call the master. It's nothing more than that. More information on, on how this is done will be explained later on. It seems impressive when I spread the characters out in a formation, but it's really easy. It's just a matter of key binding different movements to the same key. For instance, to make a perfect line, bind one key to strafe left on both slave 1 and 2, and the same key to strafe right on slave 3 and 4. Then bind a secondary key to strafe left on slave 1 and right on slave 4. Then just click the two keys in a quick follow, and they will spread out into a perfect line. When doing a square, I use the home key for that, just bind home on slave 1 to forward, backward on slave 2, strafe left on slave 3, and strafe right on slave 4. One hit at the home key and all four slaves will create a perfect square. 
forgot about the star some multiboxers are drawing. This is quite easy if you have 5 shamans. Just position the shamans in the corner of a pentagon and cast chain healing. Of course you need to make sure that the shamans cast at the right target. What is the most basic in-game setup to get started? There are of course different setups, but this is the one that I found the easiest and most reliable. Create a macro that will set your tank as your focus and assign it to a key, for instance the 9 key. Do it on all your 4 slaves, like this. Create a follow macro and assign it to a key, for instance key 1. Do it on all the 4 slaves like this. The reason not to do slash follow Grimstone is that you might want to change your master from time to time and with the solution you don't need to rewrite all the macros when you change your master. Thirdly, create a spam macro and assign it to a key, for instance the 2 key, and do it on all 5 characters. Here's a really simplified version of a spam macro. So, when you start playing, invite all the characters to the same group and then press 9. This will make all your slaves set your master, in this case Grimstone, to the focus. Hit the 1 key and all 4 slaves will start following your master around. Press the forward key or something like that to make the slaves stop following your master. Target a mob with your master and run to it while you start hitting the spam key, number 2 in this case. Hit the spam key until the mob is dead and then press the follow key, 1, to get the slaves to follow you again. Now you just need to polish the key bindings and macros for a while. Next step might be a single target heal button. Start with the tank healing. A AOE spam button when there is multiple mobs up at the same time. Some sort of nuke button, for instance use trinket cooldowns and harrys. And maybe some sort of buff the group button. Before you know it you have filled all the macro slots as well as key bound every key on your keyboard. If you have any more multiboxing related questions, please post them as comment to this YouTube clip and I might answer it in a coming episode. A transcribe of the questions can be found at multiboxing.blogspot.com You are not prepared!